<laughs> oh, welcome and greetings as we get into week 30. Now you are going to see how things really start to come together. But you're also going to see this complexity happens because you're going to see, you know, if you have blood, blood, or you have bleeding, and how do you sign these, and what's the difference between a, a, a noun and a verb and an action, and how do you put those together? Yeah, also this week, you're going to learn more about what's called past tense. How do you sign something that happened in the past? Because signing is all active, and so as we sign things that happen in the past, you're going to have to do a little bit different. And so we're going to get into that this week as we talk about these different concepts and how you put them together. And I hope you saw from last week that sometimes words that we use, you know, for example, we talked about last week of sin. You know, sin. What is sin? How do you explain that? Well, I hope you like uh, Ranky's Brownie story and why we sign and use that story to explain sin. We're going to see a lot of those uh, uh, concepts come up this week also that we often don't realize in English. We say it, but it's really not true that people, even though you say the word, doesn't mean they understand that word. And so you and I, especially when we're signing, it's going to help you. How do I take that word and make sure it's clear? So that sin, what does that mean? Well, that's the exact idea you're going to see uh, this week as we start building on that foundation. So I pray God will bless you as you study, as you continue to learn, and as this signing thing starts coming together for you. I pray God will bless you.